Matt Egan got off to a pretty good start there in the first half, first quarter. Um, how would you feel first time back out on the court You know, in a game-like setting? Yeah, it felt good to be out there playing with my teammates, um, <clears throat> a new coach, and with everybody in the stands. It was just a fun atmosphere, and I was just excited to be out there. For all the practices you've had against each other, how much did you need to see somebody who, who doesn't know what you guys want to run and, and to get that experience? Yeah, um, it's good to play against somebody that's not going to know exactly what you're about to do. But, um, you know, that's why we work on those things in practice. And, you know, in the game, it's just it's a lot easier because we know that we've worked on it. As one of the veterans in the program, how have you, I guess, kind of gone about trying to help bring on the newcomers? And, you know, obviously everyone kind of feels new with, you know, new coaches and things like that. Yeah. How have you tried to bring everybody along? Yeah, just encouragement and just um, lifting everybody up and just trying to keep my energy high because, you know, um, if my energy high, I feel like it's going to um, feed off to the rest of the team and just be that light for everybody. One thing uh, Coach P talked about earlier in the summer was that um, they've been like stopping practices to watch film during practice. That mm -hmm. it's different, and not a lot of coaches do that. How did you all, I guess, players kind of react to that? Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's it's better for me. I think to see what we're about to do right before um, we go out there and do it. Um, you know, visual learner, just being able to see it and then do it on the court, it's, it helps a lot for me. I think, and it, I think it helps um, a lot of my teammates too. Before you open up officially, do you need that time, or would you guys be comfortable if you had your season over tomorrow? Yeah, we definitely need that time um, to get in the gym, just get get sharper and with our plays and just understanding everybody, understanding the reads and what we're really lo looking for uh, offensively and defensively, getting to the ball, just getting stops. Now, so if you look at you know where you guys came from at, at the beginning of the summer, a new coach coming in, new players coming in. Um, what part of the journey are you guys on now, so to speak, as far as where you want to be, you know, by the end of the year? Yeah, um, I want to put a ceiling on where we can be, end up at the end of Big 12, but I think we're on the right path. And as we continue to learn and, you know, just soak in everything that coaches um, give us and just listen to our teammates, sky's the limit for us. I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Blackston? Mm -hmm. Kylie Blackson. Yeah, I mean, obviously, big girl. She, I mean, it looks like she's more comfortable shooting threes. Uh, what does she kind of bring to the team? And obviously, you know, she's another new face coming in. So, mm -hmm. what was it like getting to know her and her style of game? Yeah, um, it's definitely different um, to play with a, like a stretch five. You know, she can shoot the ball um, great. So, pick and pop is always there. And, you know, to just be able to have. A player that can um, shoot the ball and that that's big is hard to guard yeah. for the defense. Anything else for us?